We are exactly a few days away from the end of Succession and I cannot stress enough how big of an event this finale is going to be for me. This is my Super Bowl and the Great War begins now. But before we get to the end of the story, there's still time to talk about each of the siblings and explore their characters individually. Today's topic of conversation, our favorite fake progressive and future cult leader, Shiv Roy. Shiv starts out as an incredibly independent boss lady that separates her career almost entirely from the family business. That and only that earns a little bit of her father's respect. But unfortunately, the minute she is seduced by the idea of future Waystar CEO, she loses him all over again. That fractures her perfectly manufactured image of daddy's favorite girl and makes her vulnerable in the end. Logan uses all of the people and all of his children equally, like pieces on the board. And while I see glimpses of him in both Roman and Kendall, Shiv is by far the one that is the most similar to her father. A malignant narcissist will stop at nothing to come out on top. Just like Logan, Shiv moves pieces on the board with expertise in a way that no one sees her coming because she is not above emotional manipulation, something Kendall and Roman are against. They both prefer their threats to be direct. Shiv has no such stipulations. Just like Logan, she exploits, cheats, lies and fakes allegiance whenever it benefits her in the most self-righteous manner. Do you remember that story from childhood about a scorpion and a frog? trying to cross the river, Frog offers the scorpion help, but the scorpion can't help but sting the frog, dooming them both. When the frog asks why the scorpion did it, he replies, it's just my nature. This is Shiv's nature. She's the scorpion, and in the last few episodes we see her exploit every possible angle to get ahead. Her husband, her pregnancy, her brother's love, her father's funeral, nothing is sacred anymore. She has to win. She is so focused on the end goal that she can't see Masson playing her too. Wouldn't it be funny if Masson won this war with Kendall, but instead appointing Schiff as American CEO, he chose Greg instead? The eternal dark horse of this show that started the story to begin with. That's one of the possible scenarios. Other obvious ones being Kendall finally triumphant, because I can't see Schiff winning, not this time. Too many of her pieces finally understand and see her for who she is, Tom especially. During their fight in episode 7, he finally voices what we all knew all along. He sees her for who she is. He knows she used him throughout their marriage as a footstool, only relevant when she needs him to be. Even though he is still into her and sees her as the coveted epitome of power he craves, he also understands that vicious people can't resist hurting others even when it is not in their best interest. Shiv, in turn, has no problem with humiliating and degrading him all night by saying to everyone that he will be laid off. When confronted about this, she gaslights him in a typical Logan fashion. Tom says, I am sorry, you never got your father's approval. I try to give it to you, but it doesn't matter because you are broken. And truer words were never spoken between them. The only time Shiv had any attraction to her husband was after he betrayed her, simultaneously earning her respect. In a similar way that Kendall's betrayal earned him a little bit of Logan's respect. Shiv tries to play her father's game by catering to both sides of the conflict and double-crossing her brothers, explaining it away as a good thing for the company, good thing for the world. She's championing the left political representative, but in her own words, it's good for democracy, 
but great for us. At the end of the day, she has no problem aligning herself with a clear abuser like Lucas Matheson. Ebba is a victim of harassment and narcissistic abuse. Everything from a manner in which she talks to the way she moves her body indicates it. And Schiff, as a stellar feminist, and I mean it in an ironic way, of course, has no problem with exploiting and manipulating her for her own gain. Same way her pregnancy is only revealed when she is desperate to sway Tom in her favor. Every angle she takes blows up in her face, and now she has no one in her corner, except for Masson, who, in my humble opinion, can't be trusted. She tries to intimidate Greg, but he stands up to her. She tries to manipulate Tom, but he sees through her tactics. She tries to gaslight her brothers, but they take Paige out of their father's book and cruelly mimic her, stumbling over her words. All in all, the minute Schiff tried to play on Kendall's emotions and persuade him that she believes he is a good guy, she lost him. Now she has no more moves to play and can only wait to see how the game is going to play out. Will it be her way or the checkmate? I find it extremely funny and poignant that during funeral episodes she calls her mother Cruella de Vil because that's who she is too at her very core. Shiv, 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 shivy shiv. Oh my god. Shiv is such an interesting character. I love to hate her. It's like Cersei Lannister. And I just, I would love for her to come out of this somehow on top. But seriously, there's just no way. No way Shiv is gonna win this because she alienated everyone around her right now. You know, Kendall, for all his flaws, he has Greg on his side. He has Frank on his side. He has Hugo. He has Roman almost there. Shiv might think she has Lucas on her side, but Lucas doesn't really respect her as much as she thinks. I, she manipulated and schemed and now she's all alone. And I'm really interested to see how this is gonna play out. While doing this, watching and re-watching last few episodes of Succession, I realized Greg, Greg is somehow closer and closer to the top with each episode. And wouldn't it be funny and amazing plot twist if Greg ended up being like an evil mastermind of all of this? What if he isn't really as dumb as he appears? I especially keep watching and rewatching that scene with Wasabi and Darwin. And I'm like, did Greg do it on purpose? What was happening there? And Greg is the only one it's not Shiv. Shiv thought she had it in her bag, like playing both sides equally and being like, oh, I'm gonna really uh, take something from my brothers and take something from Lucas Matheson because I'm so good at this game. Actually, Greg is the only one who has solid position in both camps right now. He has Kendall and Roman's trust because of Shiv's situation, and he has Matheson trust. Because he's very direct, and because he just... Remember that scene in the last episode, and the... they were all at the mausoleum, and Shiv asked Frank and Carl, was my dad really as bad? And they said something, what you see is what you get. And isn't that Greg, to be honest? So I'm, I, I'm at a loss. I mean, I only see three possible scenarios. Roman is out of the race for the front for me at this point. 
He is in a full mental breakdown. Matheson wins with Schiff being the American CEO, so Schiff wins. Two, Kendall wins. It's like an obvious uh, finale that maybe we'll be satisfied with because, you know, it's, it's the idea we had all along since season one, that maybe Kendall will finally step up and be the Logan, new Logan version for this company. But I'm starting to believe we're gonna have the third outcome, which is Matheson wins, but Greg becomes the American CEO. Because Lucas likes Greg. This is, this is gonna be insane next week. You know, in the last few episodes, especially after the Logan dying episode, I really hoped that it will soften Shiv a little bit. The pregnancy revelation was big. But if anything, it only proved to us that she really is this cold-blooded animal. She's so much like Logan and her mother. They're both so in there to her core, which is kind of sad. I really wanted her to grow a little bit, but she became the villain of that season for me in many ways. Now I'm rooting for Kendall or Greg. <laughs> I can't believe that after all these seasons, I would be rooting for Greg. And remember, he was mentioned by Logan in the will. So really, is it that episode with the will and Kendall being underlined really telling us that this is really a choice between Kendall and Greg in the finale? I want to know what do you guys think? Are you rooting for Shiv? Are you rooting for Roman at this point? Oh my god. Poor Roman. Or are you like all the way Kendall? Do you think Greg stands any chance? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's discuss in the comments below. Thank you so much for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do and help me grow this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.